So maybe because from Monday onwards, we are going to, so Monday onwards or today onwards, you are going to uh, log in inside of the system, validate your access to preparation of the SCP installations, to log into the SAP systems, to practice installations, all kind of administration work. So first of all, we should know about our login procedure, how the server practice login procedure. You don't need to do anything on your server. Just what you have to do, you need to open the remote desktop. Maybe MSTSC is the remote desktop server. Then it will ask you, suppose like see here, just I'm entering control R. Then you will get the run prompt here. Run prompt here, right? In the run prompt, just click on the MSTSC, you will get the remote desktop connection. Remote desktop connection. Otherwise, in the search bar, maybe all are using the Windows 10 or login. Maybe you can use the remote desktop connection. Then you will get the app. Here, you need to type the IP. You need to type the IP here. This is our server IP. This is our server IP. So I will share this IP in our group also. In the link also, I can share it here. So you need to enter this IP, right? Just click on the, this one and this one. Then it will ask the user ID and the password. The user ID password I will share with you, right? So the whoever updated in the that uh, tracker, I will create the user IDs. Then enter your password here. Just click on the OK button. Then OK. Then you will log into the our server. You will log into the our server here. This is our practice server here. You can see this is our server, right? Here you can see here. So here, same as like in the real time also, you will see the SAP login pad, some browsers, some other SAP, so HANA Studio, some other tools or client tools are available that will come here, right? Same, you will get the same desktop here. Then in this case, what you have to do, you have to open the folder here, here in the C drive, you can see in the C drive or B drive. So here you have the SAP softwares are available here. SAP softwares are available here. So SWPM, Kernel, then exports. I think we have not downloaded exports. DB, DB client. So all are available here. All are available here in the systems. All are available here. So using this one, we have to start the installations. Yesterday we discussed about the so how to download the softwares and what softwares we required to perform the what softwares we required to perform the SAP installations any product of sap installations ecc or bw or crm plm srm so any systems that's common procedure our basis tasks are common so right so we will do the that type of installations we will perform it here right that is the installations we will do very hands on on the from so next week onwards next week onwards means so monday onwards we will do the installations right installations you will get the hands on so meanwhile, from today and tomorrow, just to revise the some basics, whatever we discussed, right? Now everyone got it, how to log into the our server, right? So once again, you can see here, then just to enter the user ID and the password, which I shared with you, then validate your access whether it is working or not. This is our login procedure. This is our IP, right? This is our IP. You can log in, it's always available. The server is always available anytime. Even your mobile phone also, you can configure the, the server access. Suppose like in the mobile phone, there is a app, RD client, RD client, there is a RD client. Maybe if you have the tab, something like you have some devices are, maybe in the mobile phone, you have the RD client app, you can download it, APK file. That is the app available. So then, so this RD client, you can download it in your mobile phones. The app that you can download it. Then, so just to, uh, it will ask the, whenever you download it, it will ask the server details, server IP. Then you can provide our server IP to server IP. You can provide our server IP to here. Then you will connect it to the, our server. Through mobile also, you can practice it. Same session, but it's so mobile, right? You will get the small screen. So it's difficult to navigate it. But if you adjust the, your theme or resolution, you will get the same screen and you can practice it as well from the mobile phone also, right? So that is the, our server. So same the, as per our practice requirements. So we can see here our configurations of the server. 
so you can see here the almost 14 gb ram windows server windows we are doing the first installations and our is the intel processor and ram is the 14 gb this is our server name or computer name or this is our host name right so this is our os requirement and also we have the free space already available so minimum 200 gb free space is required so we have already free space is available fully so that is fine to install the sap systems and also if you go to the task manager here you can validate the how many cpus are there here right so how many cpus are there here how many processors are there here how many sockets so are there how much memory currently it utilized so what is the network's bandwidth so all the information you can see from here right it's a this you can see from here so this is the way you can practice you can check it out because as part of what we discussed this week we discussed about the so what is sap some versions it's an all normal discussions we have discussed right some introduction about the sap what is sap so why it is very useful to the business and everything we discussed it right so apart from that we discussed about the to install the new house to build the new house so not the new house to build the new sap system to build the new sap system means one one kind of house you are building one kind of house you are building not you maybe you are someone you are building right in that house who will stay our family members will stay but before building the house first of all you should know some size right some what is the size so all these things requirement you will gather right same here also before installing the uh, before installation of the sap system before installation of the sap systems we should be carefully ready with the our software software we have to download it and also hardware requirements comes from so how much ram is required for the uh, and also how many cpus are required for here and also what is the storage disk capacity network like and io input output how much is required so all these things right we should be ready with the all these three things we have to ready and also os what type of os we required so all these things we have to ready with this one so os is the base here os is the base here os is the so base os is the base here without os we cannot log in also so os only base here so first of all we need to define the os here that is what we discussed sap we can install on any os operating system server versions ax right so that os that is what we have seen right when downloading the files right so and also so see linux and also windows servers all these things right any db it can be installed on the any db any certified db db and also it's required any processor we can we can maybe intel processor i mean everyone use the intel processor or xenon so many processor are there so then any processor we can install the sap applications so this much of processor processor details that much of details you does not you don't need to get so maybe minimum 16 gb ram is enough to practice it for the sap systems why because small applications these are the so but db side we have to carefully plan our sizing and everything why because all the data residing into the database level right in the form of table so database level we have to carefully plan the sizing so that time you will get the more sizing requirement quick sizer tools all these things you will get it out right so sap we are discussing that much of sizing is not required for the sap also right so then cpus how many cpus are required here suppose so here there is a calculations for the cpu each cpu it will handle the 14 gb to 16 gb or 14 to 16 gb of ram memory it will handle it suppose you have the 16 gb ram then one cpu one physical cpu is enough one physical cpu is enough suppose you have the 32 gb ram then two physical cpus are enough here two physical cpus are enough here in the cpus we have the two types physical cpus and so virtual cpus virtual cpus virtual cpu concept in the cloud based systems so vcpu so that vcpu will handle the so two two physical cpus they have split it into the two one physical cpu they have split it into the two virtual cpus so which means one virtual one virtual cpu will handle the 8 gb of ram memory 8 gb of ram memory in this case you are you are planning the your, your hardware everything in the cloud based means maybe approximately two virtual cpus you required two vcpus two vcpus you required for the 
16 GB of RAM. Suppose 16 GB of RAM, you require the on-premises one physical CPU is enough, but when you are planning the same in the cloud-based, you need the two virtual CPUs are required. Two virtual CPUs are required here, right? And so 32 GB, four virtual CPUs are required. That, was, that is the calculation of the cloud. Maybe it, it may change it sometimes. It depends upon the, the hardware which you are provisioning, the family, the hardware family which you are provisioning in the so in the in the in the cloud based so that may change it if it's the latest hardware it may support it also so it may change it basically one physical cpu equals to two physical two virtual cpus okay don't get confused if you're going to be getting confused just leave it out the virtual cpus concept okay on premises one cpu 16 gb normally architects they will plan this hardware requirements and everything they will perform it so space and all the sizing and storage Minimum of 200 GB free space is required here. Minimum. It's not like that maximum only 200 GB. Just minimum 200 GB. If you have the more, that is well enough. If it is the more, that is well and uh, well enough to get the space. That much of space is well enough. Right? So these are the things we discussed. Right? And also we discussed about the some technical terms like, so, so <clears throat> what is the SID? What is instance number? Right? What is the host name? What is the computer name? All these things we discussed. SID means it will come. SID means system identification. Same as like how we how we put the name to born babies like three letters or four letters. Here also we are building the one house. Even house we are building, you are giving the one name to the house, right? Same as like here also when you are when you are building the system, SAP system, you have to give the one SID, one name you have to put out. That name should be here three alpha numeric characters only three alpha numeric characters only which means it should start from the dev or d11 or d12 or abc or xyz something like that but it's not like that one one should be not in the first character so it's not be the one not one 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 should not be the it should not starts with the letter number sorry it should not starts with the number that is the main thing here you need to remember when you are putting why because you are installing one SAD. I am installing one SAP system. All are installing the one SAP system. So the professionally, when you are talking here, there is no, uh, it's not make sense, right? Suppose like I am installing the particular one SAD, I, I, one SAP system I installed. You installed one SAP system. So when you are informing to some other, so one SAP system I installed means the conversation is not good, right? So that's why, so when you are installing the SAP system, mandatory, you need to give the, so this SID, you have to give it, right? Whatever it may be. Then instance number, you have to give it. Same kind of other number. How we have the name and other number. Same as like here also, we have to give the instance number. It starts from 00 to 99. Any number you can give it. Any SID, you can put it out, right? So that is the instance number and the SID. That is what we discussed. And host name, host name. And also instance name, host name, instance name computer names all are same all are same so db server name application server name we are calling in the conversation we are calling multiple names but all are related to the one word that is called the your computer name when you are installing sap on this host this server in this computer so your sap server name is so sap windows right so that is the main thing here you need to remember that is the main thing you need to remember here right this is what we discussed about the software and uh, software. So coming to the, the software requirements, what are the softwares we required here? So in the overview recap, so we discussed about the, we required the SWPM, then exports, kernel, DB, DB client, DB, so DB client and SAP host agent is the one of the service, small file it's required. These are the softwares you required, right? So someone asking instance once again, okay. Instance, okay. So, okay, let me explain this one. So software requirements here. So these are the software's requirements we discussed and we downloaded how to download it in the service marketplace. We have downloaded this one, right? So as WPM exports, kernel, DB, DB client, host agent, we downloaded this one, right? This is what we discussed yesterday, right? So this is what, so as WPM is the tool, installation tool, installation will start from this tool only, this tool only. 
So we have to open this tool. We need to start the SAP installation. It's not like that all kind of SAP different software installation. SAP installation is the different. It may take a uh, free giving the inputs may take one hour. Then so after that system will take four hours, total five to six hours will, will take to complete the SAP and tear SAP on SAP installations. It's not like that to simple five minutes, we will finish the installation. So like it take the five hours, four hours, but five hours, four hours system will take it out. SWPM tool will take care of the installation, but our inputs, we have to give the inputs to the SID instance number that it will ask the some questions to us. We have to provide the questions to that SWPM tool that questions may take the so one hour, one and a half hour also. Why? Because you need to understand the each and every page, right? It will take one hour. It's the largest installation. Software side, so it is the largest installation, right? So when you are installing the systems, so it will create the, so maybe instance, it will create the two instances. After the installation, SAP, it will create the two instances. In the SAP language, we will call it as the instances. In the Windows language, we will call it as the server, right? Our computer name, our system, we will call it as. When it goes to the Linux language, it is called the host name. Then SAP language, we will call it as the instance. Same, same kind of the computer in where you are installing the SAP. So same, SAP instances, same. So host name, right? Server. So maybe different words, the same, all are same only. So instance means server only. Yes, instance means, so in one server, in one operating system, when you install the SAP, it will create the SAP instance. Someone ask you what is SAP instance means. So your host name is the SAP instance. Your computer name is the SAP instance. Your computer name is the SAP instance here. In the same, almost, it will come to the same only. Right. So this is what we discussed in the so in our previous class up to now. So up to yesterday, we discussed about the this all these activities we discussed about installation, software requirements, hardware requirements. Right. So what is the synonyms like oh, instance? Instance means SAP instance. When it will create it, when you started installing the SAP system, so that time it will create the SAP instance will be created. Right. That instance is called the SAP server will be created. SAP application server will be created. So two apps, two instances will be created. Something like that, it will create the, so the what you will get. So when you are doing the installation, we will come to know what is meant by instance, right? So here we required, so to for the for preparation activities, we required the one valid administrator user is required. One valid administrator, admin users is required to perform the installations. Then space, softwares, all these things should be ready. Then we have ready already. Then Monday we can rock the our installations. We can rock our installation. You guys can practice it whenever you have free time. So that is the fine. That is the thing will happen on the from next week onwards. Okay. So any questions from anyone? Only small topic we discussed this week. So I think we started on the Wednesday, right? So Monday or Wednesday? Think, 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 think. When we started um, uh, Wednesday, right? Wednesday we started. So Wednesday, sir. Yes, Wednesday. sir. Yeah, yeah. This three days. So we discussed about the so a small topic we discussed to get everyone aligned, right? To set the next week stage. So we are going to do the installations. Some other topics we are going to discuss about the next week. That is the next week topic. So leave it out the next week topic. So just to enjoy the this week topics. Okay. Any questions? Any concerns from anyone? Okay, so that's it, I think. So 